Time for the morning rush. Fall from grace, the AG says. In the coming days, a district court judge is expected to set the conditions for release for UNM Athletic Director Paul Krebs, a former athletic director. Krebs is facing five felony charges, including fraud and money laundering. Krebs is accused of using university money to pay for a personal golf trip to Scotland. The criminal complaint states Krebs used a UNM credit card, made structured payments to avoid getting approval. Krebs is also charged with tampering with evidence. And this morning, UNM says it is cooperating in the case. This is, uh, as the AG, rather, also released a report about their financial risk areas. Now, in it, the AG goes into the matter of payment for luxury suites at the pit and accuses Krebs of providing tickets to donors without seeking payment. However, the AG says those allegations cannot be confirmed because of sloppy bookkeeping. Of course, we'll continue to follow the latest developments in this case as it moves forward on air online and on our KRQ News app. Kristen. Next weather maker doesn't arrive until this weekend. So for today, we're just watching for some leftover spot showers out over the northern mountains that will fall as snow. The majority of us seeing lots of sunshine on top, but still very cold with temperatures 10 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of year today. David. Well, if you're looking forward to skiing anytime soon, this might be a good weekend to do that. Red River picking up 12 inches in the last 24 hours. And here is a look at Tao Ski Valley. They are reporting five inches of new snow. And of course, Ski Santa Fe is picking up four inches. All right, take a look at your screens here. You will see several delays and closures, about 20 so far this morning. New at 6, Farmington schools are on a two-hour delay. Grants Head Start, you're closed today. Grants Cibola County schools, you're on a two-hour delay as well. You can find more closures and delays on our website. That's always on krqa.com. A college student is hoping an arrest will be made soon after she says that she was violently mugged in Knob Hill. A warning, some of the graphic images are pretty graphic. Val Hernandez was at Knob Hill Bar and Grill and walking towards her car early Sunday morning. Now, she says she was pistol whipped by a man demanding her purse. Hernandez was rushed to the hospital and after being released, says she still has not heard back from APD. Looking ahead for you, about a dozen U.S. troops will remain at the New Mexico and Mexico border for now until the governor determines which communities need help with people seeking asylum. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham says there's no crisis on the border. She recently ordered the withdrawal of most of the state's 118 National Guard troops from the region. And the border will be something that the president could be talking about during his planned campaign rally. This is happening next week in El Paso, Texas. Now, he plans to rally supporters on Monday at the county coliseum. His campaign manager tweeted the rally will be held less than 1,000 feet from the, quote, border fence that keeps El Paso safe. The Senate could soon take up a bill today that would decriminalize abortions. The House passed the bill last night. State Representative Joanne Ferrari says... Like in Roe v. Wade, the bill would protect a woman's choice. A 1969 New Mexico statute made it a felony for an abortion provider to terminate pregnancy, with some exceptions. And new at 6, a bill that would ban trapping animals on public land is set to be heard in committee today. House Bill 366 would make it illegal to use a trap, snare, or poison an animal. All this for the purpose to capture or kill an animal on public land. Now, if violated, a person would face a misdemeanor and fines ranging from $500 to $2,000. There are specific exemptions listed. Some Santa Fe school officials are concerned about a mail-in election of their own after the APS special election failed to pass. On Tuesday, the Santa Fe County Clerk's Office began mailing out ballots. They're asking voters to decide on a five-year renewal of a property tax for public and charter schools funding. School Board President Stephen Carrillo tells the New Mexican, well, what happened with APS worries them. They're confident. New Mexico State University is putting a million dollars towards studying green chili. The Las Cruces Sun News reports that an endowed research chair has been fully funded. Now, this is a permanent pool of funding invested in studying chili. Now, they met their goal recently. Officials hope this will keep chili research alive at the university for decades. In just a few hours, officials will open the Facebook data center in Los Unas. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, along with the mayor of Los Unas and other local leaders, are set to be there. Once the data centers are live, Facebook is expected to employ about 300 people. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index down to a three. We've got some cold temperatures lasting all day long. Temperature only about 42 this afternoon here in the Metro with breezy conditions at times that will drop that wind chill value. So make sure you have that heavy coat with you all day long. David. A life saving technology for firefighters is being created by a researcher at UNM. The smart and connected firefighter system helps firefighters by avoiding hazards and guiding them towards the safest path. Now, sensors and body cameras will collect data at the scene, then use it to process and calculate the safest route. Firefighters would hear instructions after that. 
A local livestock team is asking for your help this morning getting to a global competition. Three Estancia High School boys recently won second place at a livestock judging competition in Denver, earning them a spot at the International Livestock Judging Tour in Scotland, England, and Ireland. To help get them there, go to our website, always on KRQE.com. Well, the girls' wrestling team at Highland High School is hoping to soon compete with more girls. Now, right now, the Hornet girls can compete against boys in regular season tournaments, but want more girls to face off against. The NMAA is responsible for the state tournament. Now, they plan on hosting a girls-only exhibition. All right, Adrenaline Junkies, listen up. The Angel Fire Resort will hold its World Shovel Race Championships this weekend. Competitors slide downhill on an aluminum snow shovel as fast as they possibly can. The fastest rider wins. There will also be a media event. KRQ News 13 will take on reporters from our competing stations. Kristen. Time now for a check on your morning commute. No major crashes out there to worry about, but start to see quite a bit of volume. Paseo westbound near that Jefferson exit. The big eye looks smooth at this hour. Well, some popular apps are recording user screens without permission. According to TechCrunch, many well-known airline, hotel, and retail iPhone apps are secretly recording user screens. Companies such as Air Canada, Abercrombie & Fitch, Expedia, Hotels.com, and Singapore Airlines reportedly record every tap and swipe without user knowledge. Huh. Taking you back eight years ago on this day, February 7th, it was the start of 140 days of no rain recorded out at the Roswell Airport. Second, second, that is longest stretch on record for that area. That was on this day eight years ago. Time now for a look at those five facts. We start with number five here happening this weekend. The Angel Fire Resort will hold its World Shovel Race Championships. Competitors slide downhill on an, on an aluminum snow shovel as fast as they possibly can. The fastest rider wins. That does include a media event where ladies from KRQ News 13 will take on reporters from our competing stations. Our very own Gabrielle Burkhart has one of the fastest recording times at 61 miles per hour. Little Gabby sitting records. Very fast. <laughs> and number four, the Highland High School girls wrestling team is doubling in size. They are now ready for more competition. The Hornet girls can compete against boys in regular season tournaments, but are looking for more female competition. APS and other school districts organize regular season tournaments. The NMAA estimates there are about 165 female wrestlers statewide. At number three, a very cold day today with temperatures only in the low 40s. At our warmest, breezy conditions going to make it feel even colder than that. A few spot snow showers left over the northern mountains with minor accumulations, but the majority of the state underneath sunshine, both today and tomorrow, breezy conditions to start the weekend. Number two now, a college student is still recovering this morning after she says she was violently mugged in Knob Hill. A warning, some of the images in the story are pretty graphic. Val Hernandez was walking to her car early Sunday morning when she says she was pistol whipped by a man demanding her purse. Hernandez was rushed to the hospital and still waiting to hear from APD. And at number one, former UNM Athletic Director Paul Krebs is now facing five felony charges, including fraud and money laundering. Now, he could get up to 15 years in prison if convicted. A Larry Barker investigation two years ago exposed the now infamous golf trip to Scotland. Krebs is accused of using university money to pay for that trip for himself, his family, and a former coach. The criminal complaint states Krebs allegedly used a UNM credit card and made structured payments to avoid getting approval from UNM, followed by a cover-up. Krebs is also charged with tampering with evidence. 